Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This one's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? I wanted to talk about how Logan Paul has made a video as a comeback to his channel and all I've been say seeing all over Twitter, YouTube, everywhere, all I see is his fans defending him, which isn't shocking because we all know they're going to defend him, like they're his fans, obviously they're going to come to his aid no matter what. He could literally kill a person on camera, upload it, put it on number one trending, and his fans would be like, It's a mistake! He's young! Oh my god! But you know what? No! Open your eyes! All I am seeing is people defending him, saying, Logan, now I can see you've changed. You're a better man. You've learned your lesson. No! Am I the only one that can see through the bullshit that is his comeback video. <laughs> Literally the whole video is based on the fact that he fucked up, that he's trying to cleanse himself. There's a shot where he's like washing his face and washing his hands and it's trying to make it look all poetic and all artsy and he's like, I made a lot of mistakes so I want to become a better person and educate myself. It's like dude, are you really trying to claim that you're 22 years old and you had no idea that suicide was an issue or a thing? There's a clip in there where I can't remember what his name was because they only flashed his name up in the corner for a second. This guy that he's talking to and he literally puts about two seconds of clips in of him from probably a very long interview and he put in the worst clips because there's a part where he's like, you really didn't know suicide is a huge problem? And Logan's like, no, it's my ignorance on the subject. I just didn't have any idea it was a thing and it's like, Really, you had no idea that suicide was a thing. You went to the suicide forest and in that video you were very aware of what happens in that forest because you kept making jokes and going on about ghosts and laughing and you went up to the body and said, why did you do it, dude, and all this. You knew what suicide was. You knew that he had done that to himself. You're not a fucking idiot. As much as I would like to believe that you're that much of a moron that you didn't know what suicide was, you're not. You're just trying to cover your tracks by acting like you're stupid, which you might have never personally experienced depression, and I know that you haven't because otherwise you wouldn't have posted that, but you knew what suicide was. Don't act like you're completely ignorant on the subject. Yes, you might be ignorant to how it affects you and why people take their lives, and you might not understand what would ever drive a person to do that. Yes. But claiming that you completely know nothing about suicide is just a complete joke. I can see through your bullshit and I'm pretty sure that the majority of people with brains can see that this whole video was a complete and utter PR stunt on your part to try and get your name back up, your brand back up so that you can start selling your Maverick merch again. What pisses me off is that there's a guy in the video and he's talking about his experience where he jumped off, I think it's the Golden Gate Bridge or something, I could be wrong. He's saying about how the second he put his feet on over the rail and started to drop, all he wanted to do was live. You know, it would have been a really sad story except for the fact that the whole time all I could think was this is a very manipulating video, this is clearly PR. Logan is just he shows no sympathy or remorse when the guy is talking. Yes, he does a little sympathetic swallow, like... He acts because he's an actor. He knows how to act. And I truly don't believe that he still is sorry for what he did. He's sorry that he got caught and that he's losing money and that it's affected his business, but he is not sorry for what he did. He still does not understand what he's done wrong. You can come at me all you want, but that's the truth. And I do think that everybody deserves second chances. I hope that he's not just going to go back into his normal vlogs straight away, or that he's going to keep milking it and making these artsy I care videos with fucking suicide hotlines there. You can just tell it was all very well constructed, everything was thought out thoroughly by his management team. It's just he doesn't care. You know, there have been scandals about these two brothers for a long time. I was looking at, you know, the stuff that happened with Alyssa, is that her name? When she lived in Team 10 house with Jake. I know he's a different person and you shouldn't judge them both based on each other. Like, I'm not the same as my sister. I wouldn't want to be judged for my sister's mistakes, but both of them have been very problematic in the past. You know, he's faked his death in front of young fans, he has disrespected cultures, he's done so many problematic things. There was a video where he was pranking young girls to saying that he was gonna kiss them and then it was actually his dad who was much older and that's like 
That's so wrong. I don't know how you could find that funny. They've both been so problematic from the beginning and you can tell that they're both driven by money and power. I just think it's sad that these are the, the two of the biggest people on YouTube right now that are being idolised by young people. And I still don't understand why or how because they're so brain dead and so you can just tell what their motives are. They want money and fame, that's it. They don't want anything else. And I'd like to believe that everybody should be given the benefit of the doubt and everybody is a nice person down inside and maybe they both are nice people and they've just kind of lost their way because fame has hit them and you know fame has never hit me so I don't know what that's like. I've never experienced a lot of people watching my videos. I've never experienced that kind of pressure or anything so I can understand that and like I know that a lot of YouTubers go through mental health issues because of the pressures of having to put up a good video every week and blah 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 and having to be a good role model and stuff and they're not used to it because they're just used to sitting in their bedrooms like I am talking to a camera and then all of a sudden they've got this audience that they're responsible for but I think it should go without saying that you don't film dead bodies and then put it up on the internet I think that he should have taken a much longer break from YouTube I he waited four weeks that's it and then came back and you know props to him for donating one million pounds to Re to different, you know, suicide charities and stuff, but at the same time, even that still felt fake to me. It still, it just all felt like fake acting. That's how it seemed to me. It all, it all just felt like acting. And in the back of my mind, it was all PR, 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 PR. Maybe that's because I'm so angry about what he did or what. But I just, I think they've both made so many mistakes and it's shocking that their careers haven't ended by now because other YouTubers have had much bigger repercussions for doing much, much less. A choice of on yesterday threw away some flowers from a fan, allegedly, and all of a sudden everyone's hating on him and giving him hate when that is such a minuscule tiny thing. He probably threw them away because they were going dead or whatever and because he has to travel and you have people being like, Hashtag choice one is over party and then you have things like dead bodies manipulating your young fans pretending to be dead in front of your fans Jake Paul treating people in his house terribly bullying them using them for money making them sign contracts they can't get out of cheating on his girlfriend multiple times because she was just a contract girlfriend and all this stuff and they're still around and still idolised. It makes no sense to me. The amount of scandals that you can find about these two brothers is unreal. I really hope that their reign on YouTube does not last much longer. Just open your eyes and see that he truly does not care. He is an actor and I can guarantee he's going to be back to his old ways in no time and everyone would have forgotten about this and his fans will defend him. Every time someone brings it up they'll be like, but he donated to charity. He made that video and it's like, yeah, he made a seven vi minute video with loads of help from his crew and people and advice from his PR people and he did a bit of acting so that you'd forgive him. And I hope that he truly is growing as a person and I hope that he is truly sorry for what he's done. But to me, it looks very transparent and I am not falling for it. And I talked to my sister about this and she agrees too. And I just, I'm glad I'm not the only one that is like, not forgiving him just because of one stupid video that he's put up like I'm sorry but no that's an unforgivable thing that he did and uh, I just hope he grows in the future thank you so much for watching I make new videos every Thursday and Sunday you can turn on your notifications because of what I just said I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers so if you could help me out that would be that would be pretty cool okay bye